hunters. It's a beautiful day and new events are on their way. For April, we still have Devil Joe to slay, but their increased numbers can't stay. So let's go over Monster Hunter Now's new events for the month of... It's gonna be May. Oh yeah. Thanks. About now is when I would complain about them not making a new graphic, but you know, they've got some goodwill because they've just been cranking out good update after good update, so uh, I'm not saying anything. Starting things off, it says, Hunters, the May event schedule is packed, including an event that is already underway, the invasion of the ravenous Devil Joe. Hey, um, I don't know how to tell you this, but uh, this hasn't started yet. I guess they just posted this early or something. <laughs> Plus, get ready to find Zenogar on the field for the first time ever. And what better way to prepare for Zenogar than Ice Element quests? Look for those in the days leading up to Zenogar's first appearance on the field. Are you ready? So Zenogar is finally going to be on the field. That's amazing. Let's dive into the first event that's starting in April and ending in May, which we covered last time, but we didn't actually dive into the details, so let's go over the actual meat of the event real quick. High alert, more Devil Joe coming. Hunters, Devil Joe have been spotted wandering around in search of prey, indicating an increase in activity to come at the end of this month. This brute wyvern is extremely dangerous and has been known to attack even large monsters. I I guess what they mean is like the large monster category, but like they only pick on like lower level large monsters. However, it's weak to thunder, so you'll want to use your thunder element weapons when taking on this brute. We'd advise against tackling it by yourself, so make sure you join up with other hunters when you head out. Dude, I've been on the grind for my weapons lately, and it feels so satisfying to like actually do a ton of damage to Joe with my thunder stuff. The latest events really have been fire, or I guess thunder. <laughs> <laughs> We've prepared some event exclusive packs that include special carving knives as well as event quests rewarding a new hunter medal. It's time to start making your preparations to take on the fearsome Devil Joe. From Monday, April 29th, 2024 at 9 a.m. until Monday, May 6th, 2024 at 11.59 p.m. Get ready for more volatile territories, but more monsters will appear in more places across the field. There will be limited time event quests that include tasks like slaying Devil Joe. Complete these for an exclusive hunter medal and monster materials that allow you to forge Devil Joe equipment. So basically there will be more volatile areas and more monster spawns, but the Devil Joe density will be the same. It still means that you'll encounter more Devil Joe, it just means that you'll have to go to more areas. Good way to get people walking, or I guess driving. The rewards we get are the invasion of the ravenous Devil Joe medal, gathering materials like Monster Bone Plus and more, Monster materials like Devil Joe Saliva, Wing Drake Hide, and more, Zenny, and Season Tier points. The packs this time do have carving knives in them, but I'm still not really interested in these. Important, if you are a new player, you must have completed Chapter 13 of the pre-season story, which is defeating Rathalos, or else this event will not happen for you. So take advantage of the new multiplayer in hats, and grind for some really strong thunder weapons, and take out that Rathalos, so that way you can take out these Devil Joe with everybody. So that event's gonna be absolutely amazing. I hope you can get out there and play with other hunters. I'm gonna go out with the boys downtown, probably Raleigh this time, because we just did Durham for the Thunder event, and Kakamo's going to Mexico with his girlfriend. So first of all, W boyfriend. Second off, most of us live in Raleigh, so it'll be a shorter drive. I'm hyped to see some AR photos on the beach, Karkuma. Let's keep moving. Next up, we have Quality Special Quests from Tuesday, May 7th, 2024 at 9 a.m. until Sunday, May 12th at 1159 p.m. Look forward to time-limited quests, rewarding gatherable materials, and zenny. Complete all the quests to nab yourself a wyvern gem shard. After that, we have Prepare for Sonogre, Ice Element Quests, from Monday, May 13th at 9 a.m. until Sunday, May 19th at 11.59 p.m. Berioth is making its return to Huntathons, and Legiana will be appearing more frequently throughout this event. Sick. I love hunting Berioth. I'm not really in need of Berioth stuff, but I know a lot of you guys are, so... W. You can also expect a boost in basic rewards you receive by slaying these ice element monsters, which is perfect since you'll want to upgrade your ice element equipment ahead of all the Zenogar hunts you'll be doing the following week. And then another really cool positive note is Berioth will remain a regular appearance in Huntathons after this event, but Berioth will not appear on the field. Sweet! That's awesome! And then finally, for the first time ever, with the event Bolt from the Wilds, Zenogar. From Monday, May 20th at 9 a.m. until Sunday, May 26th at 11.59 p.m. We know you've been waiting for it. 
In this event, Zenogar will finally make its appearance on the field. You can also look forward to limited time quests. Complete them all to earn the coveted Zenogar plate. That's amazing. I'm honestly not that in need of Zenogar stuff anymore, but more is still going to be fun and it'll be awesome just to be able to like see them all around the map and take AR with it finally. I love using AR as you guys know and for Fulminations in the Frost I was able to get that like one AR video but then because they're in Huntathons you can't AR in Huntathons which I think you should change Niantic. It would be really cool to have like the Huntathon background like placed in your own sky. That would be awesome but I know that would probably be kind of hard to do but either way it'd be nice to see Huntathon monsters in the AR, but keep keep working on the stuff you're working on. That can be a, a later thing. Again, use my Discord, link in the description. We're almost at 800 members, so hopefully there is someone in your area that is in the Discord and you guys can play together and hunt all these Zenogers. Moving on, we have even happier hunting. From Monday, May 27th at 9 a.m. until Wednesday, June 5th at 11.59 p.m. Join more group hunts during this event for epic rewards and even some limited time quests to boot. Hopefully this includes includes Huntathons, there's no way it doesn't include that. But there's not really any other details other than that. Guess we'll figure it out when we get closer. But something really important to note is story quests for season one, The Vernal Invader, are ending Wednesday, June 12th. So make sure you are on track to complete them. Stay tuned for more details to be announced at a later date. The sale of the Season Pass Premium plan for this season will end shortly before the season itself. The purchase deadline will be displayed in-app in the near future. And here they are talking about the season points being available for purchase using gems. Neat. All in all, May looks really great. Zenogar on the field is amazing. It looks like they're just dumping rewards at us, so thank you so much. I really appreciate that you guys have been like a lot more player conscious lately, Niantic. Thank you. Still no information about Elders or the Leviathan that they're gonna add, but I'm sure we'll get more info on that soon. I personally just hit 67, so I have a long way to go before I get to the Zenny piles and complete the season pass. I have about 32 levels of grinding that I need to do. So I might have to start taking my Palico to the park a little more often so I can get to grinding these levels before the season pass is done. <laughs> Cause I don't want to waste the money that I spent on the premium. But I hope you're all excited for the event lineup for May. If you like this video, please like it. Thanks for watching. Happy hunting and subscribe so you can help me reach 10K before the end of the year and go on this hunting journey with me. Until next time, see you later hunters.